We're broadcasting from the UN Climate Change Summit in Paris, France. It's COP21, and it's International Human Rights Day. It commemorates the day on which the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. Earlier today, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to Tunisia's National Dialogue Quartet for helping achieve a peaceful transition to democracy in their own country. Well, today we begin the show looking at climate change as a human rights issue. Here at the talks, negotiators have been debating how human rights should be addressed in the Paris Accord. The United States, Norway and Saudi Arabia have been criticized for seeking to eliminate key references to human rights in the text. We're now joined by former Irish President Mary Robinson. She's also the former U.N. High Commissioner for Human Rights. In 2010, she set up the Mary Robinson Foundation Climate Justice. President Robinson, welcome back to Democracy Now! It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Amy, and happy International Human Rights Day. <laughs> so talk about how human rights relates to climate change and climate justice. Human rights absolutely relate to climate change because climate change is undermining human rights all over the world. Um, undermining people's livelihoods, undermining people's health, uh, forcing people to leave their homes because of drought or flooding, often actually also causing them loss of life. It is having a very negative impact, and that's been recognized by the Human Rights Council. So even if there was nothing in this agreement, which I hope there will be, about human rights, human rights is there anyway as um, very, very central to our approach to climate change. To me, it's the biggest human rights issue in the world. So how did you come to this issue of climate justice? You didn't really raise it, certainly didn't make a centerpiece when you were the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights. And I've been very open and very modest about that. No, I didn't. It wasn't front of my mind because it was being dealt with in another part of the UN and, you know, a little bit of a silo approach. And then I started to work on economic and social rights in Africa. And everywhere I went, people said, oh, but things are so much worse. And I realized they meant the rainy seasons weren't coming in Liberia the way they used to. And there was long periods of drought and flash flooding in northern Uganda, which my friend Constance O'Kellis would talk about. But everywhere I went, um, people saw something that they had never seen before. You know, and uh, there's a long oral tradition. So that's more than 200 years because people pass stories on. And it was so much worse climate shocks, climate disruption. I saw it in B Bangladesh when I went there. Um, and um, I realized when I read the science that we're running out of time. That actually, as has been said often now during this year, we're the first generation to fully understand the dangers of climate change and the last generation with time to do something about it. And that time is now here in Paris. Now, you Hi, I'm Amy Goodman. I want to thank you for tuning in to Democracy Now! We are so grateful to our fans and followers for being a part of the daily conversation. By choosing a news source that's committed to the truth, you're carrying the message of independent media, reaching hundreds of thousands of people every day. In these times of war and elections, we need a media not sponsored by corporations that profit from war, but a media that's truly independent, funded by you. Democracy Now! is not paid for by the weapons manufacturers, the insurance industry, or the oil, gas, coal, or nuclear companies. We don't take advertising or corporate underwriting dollars. That means we rely on your donations to make our daily independent news hour possible. We need your support today to keep bringing you the hard-hitting, in-depth reporting you've come to expect five days a week. Visit democracynow.org, or you can call 888-999-3877. That's 888-999-3877 to make your holiday gift to Democracy Now! today. Thanks so much for sharing Democracy Now! stories all year long.